The three police officers who were victims of gunman Nigel Parodi have been recognised for their courage under fire. The officers have received the Queensland Police Service's highest bravery award. Nearly eight months on, the police officers in the firing line were back together again today, in uniform for the first time since Nigel Parodi's shooting rampage in suburban Chermside. Chris Mulhall, Daryl Green and Sharnel Cole honoured for their bravery, each awarded Queensland Police Service Valour Medals. The three were attending a domestic dispute in May last year when the deranged gunman opened fire at point-blank range, spraying their vehicles and them inside with bullets. Each suffered horrific injuries. Constable Cole was shot five times in the face, but still managed to radio for help. First on the scene to help, Senior Constable Brett Price. When I came down the street, I expected to be see a couple of, um, probably one officer dead and at least one critically injured. With the gunman nowhere to be seen, Price put his own life on the line trying to save his mates. Just managed to pull them into where the car was and just try and keep them as safe as I could until other help got there and I knew it was on the way. Help arrived in force. Kylie Grieber, Darren Madgwick and David Hornby helped contain the situation. Each have received commissioner's certificates. It's great to be recognised and it's good to have all my colleagues around and everything, so yeah, it's really good. Now your efforts are recognised. It's good. What they reflect is the finest traditions of the police service in Queensland and also that the quality policing comes about because of teamwork. The day also belonged to former policeman and dog handler Scott Gemmell awarded a police valour medal. He was attending a domestic dispute at Baronia Heights in July last year when he was attacked by a knife-wielding man. I received a stab wound uh, to my leg um, and uh, he tried to stab me in the chest but uh, my police dog was the one who really saved my life and also the other police that came to give me a hand. Those officers have also been recognised for their bravery. Tony Fabris, 10 News.